Greetings wanderers of the world. Today, we embark on a journey to a place not too hot, not too cold, but just right. Welcome to the Goldilocks Zone. In the wide expanse of our universe there exists a special region around every star, a region that may hold the key to the existence of life as we know it. This region my friends is what we call the Goldilocks Zone. But why Goldilocks you may ask? Well the answer is as charming as it is insightful. The term Goldilocks Zone draws inspiration from a beloved children's story. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. In this tale, a little girl named Goldilocks stumbles upon a house in the woods. She finds three bowls of porridge, three chairs, and three beds, each belonging to a bear of a different size. Goldilocks, being a picky little girl, always chooses the option that is not too extreme but just right. Similarly, the Goldilocks zone is not too close to the star, making it too hot, and not too far away, making it too cold. It is at just the right distance where the conditions could be perfect for liquid water to exist, a vital ingredient for life as we know it. This concept is crucial in our search for extraterrestrial life. It helps astronomers narrow down their search when they look at distant stars and their planets. They seek out those special regions where the conditions might be just right, just like Goldilocks' perfect porridge, for life to potentially exist. The Goldilocks Zone is a fascinating concept that combines the innocence of a children's story with the complexity of astrophysics to explain a profound truth about our universe. It is a sweet reminder that amidst the vastness of space, there are places not too extreme but just right, where the miracle of life might be happening at this very moment. So, you see the Goldilocks Zone is a fascinating concept, isn't it? Now that we know what the Goldilocks Zone is, why should we care about it, you might ask? Well the answer is as vast as the cosmos itself. The Goldilocks Zone also known as the Habitable Zone, is not merely a scientific curiosity. It has profound implications for our understanding of life, our solar system and the universe at large. First and foremost the Goldilocks Zone is pivotal in the search for extraterrestrial life. Just as our Earth nestled comfortably in the Sun's Goldilocks Zone, has fostered the flourishing of diverse life forms. The possibility that other planets within their stars' respective Goldilocks zones could harbor life is intriguing. This zone is essentially the sweet spot where conditions could be just right, not too hot, not too cold for life as we know it to exist. Secondly, understanding the Goldilocks zone of a star helps us comprehend the potential habitability of planets within our own solar system and beyond. For instance, the discovery of planets in the Goldilocks zones of distant stars often referred to as exoplanets, has given us new insights into the possibilities of life elsewhere in the cosmos. It's like peering through a cosmic keyhole into the vast expanse of potential homes for life. Finally, the Goldilocks Zone presents us with a blueprint for planetary habitability. It allows us to estimate where to look for planets that could potentially support life. This knowledge is crucial as we continue to explore the cosmos, seeking answers to some of our oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Is there another Earth-like planet out there? The Goldilocks Zone is more than just an astronomical term, it's a concept that expands our horizons, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and our imaginations. It's a reminder that the universe is full of possibilities, waiting to be discovered. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this exploration of the cosmos, do consider subscribing and giving this video a like. It helps us bring more of these journeys to you. Scene Script Let's bring it closer to home now. Where is the Goldilocks Zone in our own solar system? Well, our solar system's Goldilocks Zone, also known as the Habitable Zone, is a relatively narrow strip of space that orbits around our Sun. This zone is neither too hot nor too cold but just right for water to exist in a liquid state, a crucial requirement for life as we know it. Now let's talk about Earth, our home planet. It's perfectly positioned right in the middle of this Goldilocks Zone. This optimal placement along with a few other factors like our magnetic field and atmosphere, allows for a wide range of life forms to thrive here. But what about the other celestial bodies in our solar system? Well, Venus and Mars also lie within or near the edges of the Goldilocks zone. Venus is closer to the Sun, and is on the hotter edge of the zone. It's an example of a runaway greenhouse effect, which makes the planet's surface far too hot and hostile for life as we know it. On the other hand, Mars is on the colder edge. It's a bit of a mystery, with evidence of liquid water in its past and possibly even in the present beneath its icy surface. This suggests that Mars might have once been a habitable planet and raises the tantalizing possibility that it might still harbor life in some form. 
Further out in our solar system, some of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn like Europa and Enceladus are not in the Goldilocks zone. However, they might have subsurface oceans heated by tidal forces which could potentially support life. In essence, the Goldilocks zone is not a hard and fast rule but a guideline. It's a starting point in our quest to find life elsewhere in the universe. As we can see, even within our own backyard, the Goldilocks zone presents intriguing possibilities. Our journey to the Goldilocks zone comes to an end, but the exploration of our universe continues. We've unraveled the mysteries of this celestial sweet spot, where conditions are just right for life as we know it to thrive. We've delved into its significance, its role as a beacon of hope in our quest to find extraterrestrial life forms. We've journeyed through our own solar system and discovered its potential Goldilocks planets. This quest, like the universe itself, is vast and unending. Each discovery only leads to more questions, more wonders to explore. As we continue to delve into the cosmos, we'll keep seeking answers, keep pushing the boundaries of our understanding. Thank you Wanderers for joining us on this expedition. If you enjoyed this journey and are eager for more, don't forget to subscribe. Together, we'll continue to explore the uncharted territories of our universe. This is World One Wonders, signing off.